So I reported that uh, Brian Norman Jr. had turned down that offer, but he has later accepted it on different terms. But, you know, I guess Eddie Hearn moved on. But with Tiafimo Lopez's situation, um, I know that him and Brian Norman was actually talking about fighting a couple of weeks ago, last couple of months, over the summer. They've been talking about Brian Norman versus Tiafimo Lopez. Um, it was no hype behind that for some reason. I thought people were real boxing fans. Tiafimo was uh, offered an opportunity to fight Brian Norman. They already talked about it. Bob Aram said something about it after the fight. It was already in place with Tiafimo trying to go to 147. Fight for a belt. Opportunity. Look at Bob Aram finna give him an opportunity to fight for a belt. And I heard it was about the dates and everything else. Um, but from what I've heard, man, I thought the dates was already put together. Just from what I heard. I thought the dates was already put together. Uh, mostly. So, I don't know what the situation was as far as him not being able to have the fight. But at this time right now, it didn't happen. So, in my eyes, it was turned down. The opportunity was turned down to do something. You can definitely force a fight right now in an in-house fight. And that was the plan, too. So, yeah, it was turned down. And also, I'm hearing rumors that Devin Haney was in a situation where he was trying to make a Tiafimo fight. We already have evidence that that's been happening. So we can confirm that already, that he's been asking for that fight over the years, multiple times. Um... And at this time right now, with the performances Tia Fimo had, even with Devin Haney's last performance, we know who's the favorite in that fight. But what I'm saying right now is, where is the pressure? I thought Tia Fimo was a bigger star. So right now, they got Tia Fimo. He was on pound for pound last year. I think he might have been number 10 or something. People say he was on pound for pound. They say he was best 140 right now. They say he just beat Josh Taylor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is he not being mentioned as far as um, the fights even being offered or on the table or anything right now in the media? Why is that not a, a situation where people are actually discussing? So are, are people telling me that Brian Norman Jr. fighting TFM or Lopez isn't a big fight? So let me ask y'all a question. If that's not a big fight, because I haven't heard many people reporting on Tia Fimo and Brian Norman even being talked about. The fact that I knew that was Bob Aaron was talking about that in the open, he did that fight the same way he did that Tank Shakur fight. Well, Tank and Lomachenko. The same way he updated, he's been doing it for years. He updated everybody. He up, The same way he updated everybody. Oh, yeah, well, Brian Norman, we're trying to make Brian Norman and Tia Fimo next. So the same way he did that. It's the same way all these other fights that got talked about. But why is Tia Fimo, and this, I'm being real about this, why is Tia Fimo being treated like pound for pound? But for some reason, people are like, well, we'd rather see Boots and Brian Norman uh, more. Why was Tia Fimo and Brian Norman not even talked about or mentioned? Before the Boots and Norman situation happened. I just, I'm just asking questions. I just want to know because that's what happened. Uh, why is that not being discussed though? And then when when people start pulling out pound for pound lists, they wonder why I say I don't want to hear about this guy. And I'm not just talking about TFM. I'm just talking about anybody that gets mentioned. But when talks of deals and negotiations happen, no, now everybody don't care. Why is that not a discussion? Why is that not something that people are talking about? Why is that not being discussed, though? I'm just asking that question because people are saying, man, these guys, they fighting the best. Oh, man, this guy ducking, this guy ducking, Norman ducking. Then they'll say uh, Tia Fimo's ducking or Haney's ducking or um, Crawford's ducking. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. We just had Brian Norman come to Tia Fimo with a belt and say, hey, I'll fight you at 47 right now. And this is before Stan Yonis just got that belt for, um, so let's just say a hypothetical. 
that's standing on and said, hey, man, I'm finna fight. Um, nah, uh, that Crawford was gonna keep the belt instead of standing on and getting the belt. And they just say, hey, man, you a Norman and Tia Fimo fight. If Tia Fimo could have possibly asked if Crawford was still at 47. I'm just saying hypothetically. He could have asked for probably a fight or something. Or put himself in a running real quick. He was talking about asking for that fight, though, right? So I'm sitting there like, man, this dude didn't ask for a fight today. And he asked for another fight. Because he's always, get, I don't know if everybody knows. Tia Fimo's got an opportunity to fight everybody. From Tank, Ryan Garcia. Um, he's turned down Tank, Ryan Garcia. I don't think I don't know about Sugar Stevenson. Uh Tank, Ryan Garcia. Um Devin Haney and Brian Norman. Because that fight need to be talked about. Like what is he gonna do? Yeah, but at the same time, this is why I don't talk about fights getting turned down, because it's fights getting turned down all the time. And look, I ain't talking about, ain't no money getting mentioned about TFEMO turning down a belt. I mean, turning down a fight for a belt. Ain't no money getting mentioned. People say, that's a name. That's a name. A name what? He ain't selling no pay-per-views? What kind of name? I ain't hear nobody saying they're going to put Brian Norman versus uh, TFEMO on pay-per-view. But guess what they're going to try to put on pay-per-view? They're going to try to put Boots and Norman on pay-per-view, ain't they? Exactly. But is Boots on pound found over TFEMO? No, he's not. On most people's list. On mine. We'll see eventually. Because I don't think both are on pound pound right now. I need pound pound is pound for pound. But uh, if you just look at everything that's going on, man, like, come on, man. You got you to gotta make certain fights. Happen. That's why I don't really talk about negotiation because you can always do this with every fighter. Everybody's not gonna take every deal. That's just being real. That's just being that's just me being real, telling the truth like I always do every day. And that's the honest truth. Yeah, man. Can people like openly picking sides and then when it's they somebody they like, oh they like, oh man, I want him to say this specific answer. Like, bro, they, this answer gonna be for A, B, C, D, no matter who it is. You know, we don't, unless you turn down $100 million. The only thing I've said about money recently is that $100 million TFEMO turned down. I mean, uh, Canelo. Nah, TFEMO ain't turned down $100 million. But Canelo, he turned down $100 million. $110, whatever it was. And he like, nah, that ain't enough. Nah, we're not going to do that. Not in boxing. This ain't the NBA. We ain't turned down $100 million. But uh, that's all I got. I like and subscribe.